Hey guys, so we made a quick stop in Milan, Italy, Milano because we are on our way to Paris and we had to do a, a stop here via the airplane from Rome and the famous, the famous, I look like a crazy man, but the famous thing here in Milano is the dome. It is this beautiful cathedral that you see in front of me, the dome. I'm gonna search for some history about it, but when you Google Milan or Milano, the city in Italy, you will probably see this cathedral or this church. And if you haven't heard about Milan because of its fashion, maybe you have heard about it because of its soccer team or football team. Uh, I used to like Milan when I was a little kid, but then I think they got in a corruption scandal and I don't know what happened to that team. But we're gonna explore here a little bit, so stay tuned for the video. So to enter the cathedral, you have to buy a ticket. It's $7 per person and that gives you access to the cathedral and the museum. You can buy bigger packages that allow you to go to the rooftop, but today we're just gonna go to the cathedral. And the receipt looks like a Walgreens receipt. Look at this, it's so, so big. So we're gonna go inside right now. We have to get in line and wait, but I'm excited to see the dome. This is the first Gothic church um, built and Gothic is from the era of art. If you studied art, I don't know anything about it, but there, you know, there is the Renaissance era um, and there are different eras. Gothic era is one of those. I think that's around the Renaissance era, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this structure is huge, it's really big. It's the biggest Gothic church in the world. And it's among, the and, and it's among the five biggest churches in the world. It's really big, it's huge. Very, very big. So, something interesting is that this statue right here is San Bartolome. And as you can see, it looks like he has clothes around him, but where it really is, is his skin he's carrying his own skin so people don't know that but that's a fun fact well not a fun fact really that's a scary fact but um yeah so this church has a lot of um statues with um you, you know in some ways kind of mystic or scary like figurines but like yeah yeah so i guess it's just a realistic way of seeing the good and evil in the world one fun fact about the Milano Dome is that the construction was started in 1385, in the 1300s, and it finished in 1965. So it lasted about 600 years, uh, which is a long time. You know, I would think they would build a cathedral in, I don't know, 20, 50 years, but it lasted 600 years. So they had time to build so many statues, structures, uh, symbols. You can see symbols even on the floor. And everywhere you walk on the walls, you see a different symbol, different statue, different meanings. Um, it's a truly fascinating place. I believe also this is where the Da Vinci Code um, was inspired on. I, I don't know the story of it, but my understanding it is based out of here. Something very interesting is that there are over 3,000 statues inside the church um, representing different, with different meanings. Um, also, there are tombs of people buried. You cannot enter them, but you can see the tombs or the entrances to go to tombs of, of different people. I saw some of the names are dukes and, and the duches of different places. Um, so I, I thought that was fascinating. I don't know what is the criteria to bury someone here, um, but it's interesting that you're in a cathedral where people are buried. So, such a cool place. So, mom, what do you think so far? How do you like it? Está impresionante. Lo que me encanta es el material. She loves the way that the material that is used to, to
to build a church. So it's made of like marble, es right? Marmol rosado y blanco. It's like a it's like a pink and white marble. Pero hay muchas tonalidades, mm -hmm. muchísimas There are different tonalidades. Tones of it, yeah. El piso es espectacular, mm -hmm. es antiquísimo. So you can see the floor. Yeah, and the floor has different textures, so you can feel it with your feet. It has different textures, so they put attention to every single detail. Y además tiene en toda el área total construida son aproximadamente 11,000 metros cuadrados. So the size of the church is 11,000 square meters. I don't know how much that is in feet, but you can Google it, 11,000 square meters. It is, a, it is a really big church. It's probably the biggest I have seen. It's one of the fifth, one of the five biggest churches in the world. The reason why the cathedral is called the dome is because it's actually next to a dome here in Milan. Uh, so this is the dome, we're inside of it. And it's a place full of shops, lots of shops here. Um, lots of uh, clothing stores, Prada, Giorgio Armani, Gucci I'm sure, everything. And I think they have restaurants too. But the architecture is so, so beautiful. Let me show you guys. So we're here in the dome. Something very interesting is that there is a tradition here. They have a bull, the, the picture of a bull here on the floor. And the idea is, is that if you uh, do this right here, if you pretty much step on the balls of the bull, I don't know what other word to use, um, you get, I guess, good luck and you get to come to Milan again. So everybody that comes here steps on the balls of the bull. Look at this, it's very funny. <laughs> That is so so funny guys. So yeah, this is something you have to do when you come to Milan, come to the dome and find the bull, step on the balls of the bull and you're gonna come back to Milan. That's what they say. I think I'm gonna pass, I'm not gonna step on the balls of the bull but it's very funny to watch people do it. Okay guys, so we have come to the end of our trip in Italy. <laughs> yes, we could do it. So here in Milan, uh, it was really fun. We got to explore many cities. We went to Rome, we went to Venice, we went to Pisa, we went to Florence, we went to Milan, and what else? I think that's it. We got to see pretty much everything in the central north part of um, Italy, and it was a really good experience. Beautiful country, beautiful culture. I think the food, it, it was amazing everywhere we went. The food was very good, the cuisine. Yes. Oh, yes, and uh, we had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely come visit Italy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pura vida! Yay!